Hi guys! Today I've got a frozen shaker maker! We're going to be painting Elsa, Anna, but first we need to make the mold. This is the mold for Anna, and we get two bags of plaster of Paris, a brush, and some paint. And this is the mold for Elsa. Let's fill up the water to this line and pour the plaster in. Lock it in tight. First we have to twist it and then shake it up and down. Now the plaster of Paris, it is a quick setting plaster. I've left it there for a couple of hours And now, Anna is ready. So let's get started with the painting. First I'll paint beautiful vibrant blue colour. And then we'll pick three colours to match Anna's dress. First green. And then some yellow flowers. And then a little bit of red. And now we'll paint her face with a flesh tint colour. And then I'll paint her hair. And I'll leave some space to put her white hair strand. And I'll paint her bonnet. And I think I'll give her some pink lips. And there you go. Isn't she pretty? She looks great. What do you think, guys? I made the Elsa mold right before painting Anna. So now it's ready to be painted. So I've chosen a pinky colour for her background. I know it's not very Elsa, but I thought I'd make it a little bit different this time. I'll paint her light blonde hair. Her eyes are so small, it's actually really difficult to paint.
And now, we'll decorate her with some glitter glue. And we'll give the edge of her dress some silver glitters too. And there she is! What do you think guys? So I have to say I like the mould of Anna most. The picture is much bigger while Elsa's is really tiny and much harder to paint. But I like yours too Elsa. We love it! Thank you so much Disney Rainbow Toys! Oh no worries! Anna and Elsa, I really liked making the Shaker Maker. And if you want to see more, let her know what you would like her to paint. Well thanks for watching guys, which of the moulds was your favourite? Don't forget to like and subscribe, have a lovely day and see you next time.